Lawrence is slowly moving west, continuing to cause catastrophic flooding in its path. Check this out. This is drone video over Wilmington, North Carolina. The National Weather Service says more than 30 inches of rain were measured in parts of the state, and that shatters the tropical cyclone rainfall record of more than 24 inches set during Hurricane Floyd back in 1999. So far, 11 people have died, and the storm has cut off power to roughly 1 million customers. Courtney Zabowski is in Wilmington, North Carolina, with the latest. Florence is showing no mercy to North Carolina. The slow moving storm has virtually stalled, dumping relentless rain after making landfall as a Category 1 hurricane. It's pretty deep. It's scary. There's cars already going under. There's people freaking out. Water is rising fast in the northeast part of the state, leaving entire communities flooded in Jacksonville. People trapped in their submerged homes have been rescued by boat and helicopter. Anthony loved watched as the water crept up to his front door. He says he wasn't taking any chances. See the water coming in is like, okay, are we gonna stay here and get wet? Or are we gonna you know, go ahead and leave? Officials here in Wilmington are asking evacuees not to return home just yet to give crews enough time to remove down trees and restore power. This grocery store opened early this morning just in time. People here have been running out of supplies. Well, we were prepared. We had a lot of supplies and stuff, but you, you can only buy so much ahead of time, and then you know that there are certain things that you're going to run out of. Gasoline is also in short supply. Drivers waited nearly an hour to fill up at this gas station. In Cumberland County, authorities are going door to door, telling residents to leave after issuing a mandatory evacuation. Officials say the Cape Fear River may crest above 62 feet. We're talking about flooding that has not been seen to this degree potentially since 1945. Another one and a half feet of rain may fall before the weekend is over. In Wilmington, North Carolina, Courtney Zabowski, CBS3 Eyewitness News.